Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be starting a new game on the channel. Uh, this is American Arcadia, which came out yesterday. It's uh, it's an interesting one. It um, it's it's kind of a mix between like a 2.5D style, uh, not quite platformer, but something a bit more like Limbo or Outside that kind of thing, um, and also. A first-person hacking game. Basically, the idea is it's kind of a bit like The Truman Show. You're a, a person in a sort of a reality TV show who needs to escape, and uh, you also play a person on the outside who's helping them to do that. Um, it's by the people who also developed Call of the Sea, which was uh, a pretty good uh, Lovecraftian first-person adventure sort of thing uh, a year or two ago, which I played and also enjoyed. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what this is all about. Let's uh, Let's get into it. Uh, we'll do subtitles on, that all sounds fine. Wow! What is this, Mr. Walton? This, Comet, is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. Haha, <laughs> not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here, in America. Golly! Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to soar higher than ever before. Okay, guessing that's where we are. <laughs> Are you ready to proceed then? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28. Senior account manager at INAC. Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia. But you probably already know that, right? Okay, so this is me. I'm in control now. What have I got? I've got to jump. Move to the right. I'm being hunted. <laughs> oh, let's jump over obstacles. Then you'll have to catch me first, you jerk! Oh, we hide in the tunnel. Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. There's a cursor there. Good morning, Arcadia. Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity of 53% on this beautiful sunny Friday morning. I was just thinking, it's interesting it's got kind of like a, I would say probably like a 1970s aesthetic, but it's a... Good morning, Arcadia. The date on the video is definitely uh, 2023 on that last one, so it's current day. It just looks uh, vintage. <laughs> Science always finds a way. What's my what's my action button? Okay, I guess it's left click. Morning, Kovacs. What do you say? Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? Atta boy. This is flying bots outside. So it's probably the aesthetic is the same as it was when they built it, but they've kind of got current day tech. Auto droid to full cleaning. Actually, even the robots look a bit, sort of, 70s, don't they? Like the size of that TV and game console. Is that an Atari? I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid. But I'm not into video games anymore. Well, it's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. This house is massive. Not a hobbit hole. Package 
delivered. Look at all the Amazon delivery drones. It's like Stephen King's on Ava. Good morning, Mr. Bernstein. <laughs> Good morning, Trevor. On a rail, Poinsinia Drive. And, uh, over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, Inak Gemini Tower West. Okay. Trevor Hills. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, ten months, and fourteen days. Thank you for your dedication. It'd be depressing, wouldn't it, to be de uh, given a daily reminder of how long you've worked for a company? Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. Huh. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And suits and clothing, everything. It's very 70s. Hello. Hey, Trevor, are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, man. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hi, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Send a picture of his uh, turtle on his desk. fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending data. What? Will Romano? Seriously? But that guy is a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, Sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. I'm sending it to Ada? Validated. And, I, and I'm not. But William Romano, man? You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Um, uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through... Now, I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Nine days before that dreadful day. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> it's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. Maybe we sort of sped through that part of the routine. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, Inak Gemini Tower West. Hmm. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? Suspicious. He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. Man, I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Okay, tab, CCTV area. 
Move the mouse to select a device and press. Moving the mouse. Um. Oh, does it? Just, okay, so I can't move the the, the camera. So let's uh, let's. Hey, hey! I'm still working here. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> Six days before that dreadful day. Hey, so this is probably the. Who was it? Was it? Was it? Was it Kate Winslet in Truman Show? No, someone who looked a bit like her, I think, trying to to help Truman out. I can't go back to the CCTV. We're sort of playing the role of Truman and the person on the outside, kind of trying to help him. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is... Hey, isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. Why do I get the feeling this is a bit like in uh, The Running Man, like with all the previous winners who supposedly went off on an expensive holiday? <laughs> Need to be discovered later on. So I barely got to meet him, you know. Also, office they promoted me to a supervisor. Uh, two days later, Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you to come I in on the weekend. I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grade. Ah, uh, you know Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? He looks more eighties. Fiji. Ooh, I'd kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway. Uh, make sure that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? He'll be ready, Romano. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. What on earth? Four days before that dreadful day. This is cool, I'm enjoying this. Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. <laughs> hey, hey! Did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? Do you want to think what the the INAC, INAC logo reminds me of? Is it a bit like a Classic Atari, maybe? Hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? What do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well. Yeah, forget it. There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. All well, his computer and everything is gone now. And Gus's desk. The day before that dreadful day. It's like Groundhog Day as well, isn't it? <laughs> God, this can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey Trevor, you up for a couple no, of beers no, after? No, no, no. I, sorry, I, I can't. I can't. Well, it's gotten into him. Leave me alone, damn it! What? Jesus! What the? Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Damn. Maybe 
needs only stress. I've been working too much. How do we find out what happened to Gus? I need to go to the doctor. It's it's been ages since I had a checkup. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. No thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid on? Hey Kovacs, am I going crazy, buddy? Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. That dreadful day. Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know if they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Mm. Are, we, are we literally the running okay. man? <laughs> I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. Still can only right. move left to right. Well, I can move right to left too. And the week will be over. Not up and I'll down. Finish though. here, go back home, have a glass of warm milk, and go to sleep. Remember that you can apply for the Edge Travel Grant too. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No, thank you. Okay. Today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come on! I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your... What? Gus is dead. Oh, look at the screen. Yeah, Gus is dead. Please. Now what? That was clever. <laughs> I like that. Because we'd seen all those build rotating billboards before in the background, but I uh, hadn't really noticed what they could spell out. <laughs> what on earth? Don't be a fool. I guess maybe, maybe he'd applied for the, this travel grant. Maybe that's kind of how they weed out the people who aren't satisfied with being there. Trevor, ah! listen carefully. I don't have much time. As soon as you enter that meeting room, your supervisor is going to congratulate you for winning the Edge travel grant. What? what who, who is this? Just listen. Three travel agents will be there with him to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. And weed out people who are what? behaving strangely. What? Wait a second! I didn't even apply for the travel grant! Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. What? What? Wait! What on earth was that? There he is, um... Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. I Maybe later. Good news for you. Oh, no, 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 they've seen me. Found with this measure, we will pay. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. This is a private meeting. Uh, sorry, I, I'm. I, just, uh, I have to. I uh, just. Don't mind me. Bye. <laughs> okay, this is where they could come down to where I am. Are they going to? Yeah, they come. Elevator. I wonder what happens if we let them catch us. Probably nothing good. I probably should get in the elevator. <laughs> Sorry, 
I couldn't hold it. Take the stairs. Okay. Seems to be going now up. What do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada Blue lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Inet could look a bit like Mac as well, maybe, because of the I and the N, the way they're shaped. I kind of just want to go in it exploring everything, but we're kind of stuck on this uh, horizontal plane. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey, you, strange voice or whatever you are, can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't, Don't panic. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the other side. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Case. Okay, All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer for my cell phone. Which, I don't remember where I put. Ah, oh, where did I leave my cell phone? Okay, so presumably Trevor, <laughs> Trevor's going to be okay while we kind of familiarize ourselves with what's going on here. So I've got a... Uh, access pass lanyard will no take that. No matter how hard I try, I always have an awkward expression in my ID photos. S does that say stage technician? Oh, we can zoom. Yeah, I can zoom. Uh, oh, rotate. There we go. Yeah, stage technician. Email, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess we don't take that then. Am I wandering around? The weather forecast predicts a blizzard for the next three days. Yay! This little plant managed to survive, despite my black thumb. It's the opposite of a green thumb. Arpad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in 1999. Kovacs, so that's the name of Trevor's turtle. To Angela, the true architect of tomorrow. Okay. Ah, okay, this is our plan. Inac Inac billboards, spire apartments. One coffee. Ask to install. Ah, okay. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. I like that. That was cool. Uh, okay, well, I guess we get uh -huh. out of here. I gotta get my cell phone and hack Kendra before leaving my office. All right, so the cell phone's in here somewhere, then, is it? What's that? Oh, that's just the back of that, isn't it? Desk doors in the oh, box. I'm such a mess. Someday I'll have to get this huge mountain of paper in order. Desk drawer or something, maybe? I have to grant myself admin permissions to help Trevor. Without them, I'm afraid I can't do anything to help him. Hey, what am I missing here? It's got to be in this room somewhere, right? Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, Jesus, I forgot to call Grandpa for his birthday. He's going to be mad. Comet, the canine cadet. Or, as we used to call him in Puerto Rico, Celso, el perro del espacio. <laughs> okay. What? Why can't I find my cell phone? Is it... Probably somewhere really obvious and people are going to be shouting at me in the comments, but I can't, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, like behind the... It's right here. Okay. Here you are. <laughs> now I only have to access Kendra's computer and... Unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Clutziest activist ever. I think it's, uh, well, it's 190. Pretty sure that's the 172. That ends in a 2, so it's got to be 232, I think. And then 23. 
Ah. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again. What the? And no. here it is. No, 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 Total no, system no. shutdown. No, I've lost my whole day to now, Kendra, you better <laughs> call the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, of course, it's Kendra. Yelling? Oh, you better move your sorry ass and get out here, or you will find out what yelling is. <laughs> Just about make out what she's saying. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Win, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene, I really owe you one, man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's okay. aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, you it's gonna be a while. How is so next phase, get inside the server room. Can't be you caught on the surveillance normal? cameras. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. Okay. Uh, well, Gene came from this way, didn't he? So we've got like a long corridor to a window at the end. Kind of looks a bit... a bit like this, doesn't it? So that's one. Ah, here it is. Cool, we done? I think we're done. So the next one we got a picture of like a like a president or something of the company. Actually it looks like Walton, doesn't it? It may may or may not be based on Walt Disney, I'm not sure. Ah, well that's the handshakey one, isn't it? So that's uh, number th one at the bottom. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the board of directors would have gladly erased Kovacs from this picture if they could. Now, yeah, so now we've got the picture of Walton somewhere. Uh, like a little meeting room in the background. That's probably it. Let's just, we'll get there and we'll turn, oh yeah. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. If I could have lunch today with anyone dead or alive, it would definitely be Elijah Walton. Don Walton. What a prick. <laughs> so he was Elijah Walton's brother, wasn't he? Vivian Walton, the beloved heiress of the Walton Empire. Ugh. Okay, right, so server room, that's labelled, isn't it? I think I saw a sign for it somewhere. I think it... That's where we came from. I'm sure I saw a sign for it somewhere. Server room, there we go. Shit. Do we know the code? I forgot that Gene still uses the nope. old <laughs> security system. And I don't know his passcode. Uh, how can we get that? A clue somewhere? A complete layout of the 21st floor. We go and ask him? It's not a good idea to enter offices other than mine. Man, I feel so bad for exposing Jean to Kendra's volatile temper. Okay. I'm sorry, Michael. As long as Kendra's in the company, you'll always be the runner-up in the corporate lackey contest. Michael's office. Another stage technician. And Kendra's official lapdog. 
How can we find out Jean's code? Leslie's office, the third stage technician on the 21st floor, and the poster child of order. I mean, maybe can I just like look in the window? Maybe he's got like clues that we can see. There is something, there's like a ball. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just here. 1208. All right. <laughs> look at this. I can't believe it. You're an absolute disaster when it comes to security measures, Gene. But ta da! Door open. Got right here. Snoop. Well, there's TPS reports. What's this? Admin permissions. Well, that's what we need to do. Let's have a quick look around here, though. Nothing. Nothing particularly interest interesting. Good. Now I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. Okay. I can run as well. That's good. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to I did wonder about that. Yes, all cameras are back to- Hey! Oh, uh, Kendra. You think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal! Oh. Oh! You mean that? Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato at the cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra, I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work too, you know? Hi, Vio, I thought she had caught me. I don't think she's got a clue what's going on. Right, okay, hack the computer, empty server room, upload loot footage, yeah, we've done all, oh, activate Ada, we haven't done. Go back to this, I suppose. Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. But wait, your voice is. Oh, forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. <sighs> yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Cameras are ready. Uh, on, on the camera thumbnail, a left click to switch to between cameras. There we go. Switch between them. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. You'll find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too, yes. What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the backstage of a TV studio? Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this, is, this is the full computer ever built. Ada means artifact disposal area. Oh, look at all these tubes. This is his work. They just all get dumped down here. There is no Ada. Yeah. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that... that doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just... INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. 
It's just another one of Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Let me show you the truth for once. Almost 10 years he's been doing that job. And <laughs> they're just not getting chucked down here. Oh. Uh... Please, Trevor, have a seat. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Experience love drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. Vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? What is this? This, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. What? Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Well, yeah, everybody knows aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Oh, no. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera, and that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Joe with an Fourth ordinary life. extremely low. Too ordinary. Too ordinary? Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... be retired from the show. Gus. Re retired? You... you mean... Yes. They're working their way up from the exactly bottom. exactly what you're thinking. But... They can't do that, right? They can't kill me, can they? Not legally. But again, who's gonna miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody's interested in your life, remember? Oh my god. This... this is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. <sighs> okay. 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 Cool. Okay, well I think I might leave it there for now because that seems like quite a quite a good uh, cliffhanger to end the first episode. And we kind of understand the premise a bit more now of the game and, uh, you know, why Trevor's been picked out to, to be the one to try and, and help. Uh, and hopefully you've enjoyed this. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. It's I think presentation-wise it's fantastic. I like the aesthetic. It, it kind of has, yeah, it's like the show is 55 years old, as they've said. So in 2023 that means it would have been made, what, 19... 68 or something like that maybe um so yeah no i'm really enjoying it i and if you're enjoying watching this episode it'd be great if you could uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, leave me a comment as well let me know if you like this game what are your thoughts on uh, on what's what's happened in this episode and uh, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel it'd be great if you could do that as well so thanks very much once again and i uh, hope to see you next time for more american arcadia bye for now